One of the most useful features a laptop can give you is the ability to screen grab or screen record. So getting a still image or a video of whatever it is on your screen so you can share it. And honestly, Chromebooks haven't been that great at doing this up until now. But with Chrome OS 88, a new tool is coming out that's gonna allow you to not just get stills, but also video and audio from your Chromebook right out of the box with no extensions, no apps necessary. So let's take a look. For right now, as I said, this is a feature that shows up in Chrome OS 88. 88 currently is in the beta channel. We don't expect 88 out until sometime in January. So if you're seeing this before then, you're gonna to need to head over uh, to your flags. Hey, you're gonna to have to go to the, the beta channel and then you have to go to your flags. Again, if Chrome OS 88 is unstable, by the time you're watching this, it'll be unstable, may or may not be behind a flag. So if you're not seeing it out of the box, know that you need to go to your Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Once you get there, you're going to search for screen capture. Uh, once you do, you'll find the screen capture uh, flag. You're going to enable that, and then you'll have a button down here that shows up. You click reset, it'll reset Chrome, and you'll be ready to go. So we're just going to close that down. And basically, once you've enabled the flag, you have a couple different ways you can invoke this new screen capture. It's right here in your main uh, tray over here, so you've got screen capture there, or the old shortcut that would give you the old screen capture so control and overview mode that just does the old screen capture ui nothing special there but the minute you do the old like different size screen capture ui so control shift and overview you boom come into this brand new interface so that's going to look the exact same as if you just go down here and hit screen capture so same thing once you're here there are a couple things that you can do so you see there's a toggle at the bottom that shows a camera and video. And as you hover each of these, it tells you what, what it is. So that's gonna switch us to screen record. If I click this, it's gonna say take full screen screenshot. And then you'll see it kind of highlights the entire screen. You tap anywhere out here and boom, you've got your screenshot. It's gonna slide in and tell you you've taken a screenshot. It's set to do a partial screenshot out of the box. So when you do this, so say I do this right here and I'm like, uh, that's not exactly the framing I wanted. We can drag this frame around, we can grab the edges. And as you can see, you get a nice little magnifying thing there. So you can actually really hone in on that edge that you want to grab. Once you're cool and you're like, this is it, this is what I got. Eh, I need to move it a little bit more. There we go. That's what I want. Click that capture button. Boom. Screen grab is taken. And you can click it and view it in here and see that it's an exact grab of the portion of the screen that I had highlighted. Now, when you move to video capture, again, our little box stays up here. Oops, sorry. Our little box stays up here. And if I flip over to video, the box can stay here. We can define specifically how much area we want to, re uh, to record, and you actually get pixels down here so you know exactly how much of the screen you're getting. And once we're there, say, okay, I want to start recording. Click it, and you're going to get a countdown. Once it's done, the, the outline goes away, but it's still only going to record that portion of the screen. And you'll see that here in just a second. Once you're done, there's a stop button right down here on the side. Boom. Done. We're going to click this and we're going to click our video. And what you're going to see is just a portion of the screen. So, outline goes and away. you'll hear my audio. And so you see it only grabbed that portion of the screen, which is a really nice trick, honestly. I mean, if you're trying to do a screen recording of just a particular section of a website or anything on your Chromebook, it's so awesome to be able to define that space and then click screen record. So now you don't have to go and you know, chop up the video afterwards to actually get the crop that you were looking for. So finally, the other trick I want to show you is you heard my audio pop in there. It's going to record the audio from your microphone. So there's not always going to be a need for that, or maybe you just don't want that to be the case. Right now, there's no toggle to turn this off. But if I go over here in my main Chrome OS settings, click next to the main speaker input output, I can just take my mic, slide it all the way down, and basically meets the microphone. And so now when I go to do my screen recording, again, I can click full screen down here if I wanna screen, screen grab the whole thing. I'm talking, oh, I did the wrong thing, sorry. Record, full screen, click it. So as it counts down, I'm gonna record and talk in this and you'll hear in just a second as I get done with that and hit stop again. Click into this one. And as you can hear, there's no volume. My volume's up max. 
no volume whatsoever. So if you need a screen recording and you don't want the volume in there of your kids screaming in the background or whatever, uh, just turn your microphone down. But what we're seeing in this is basically a full-fledged screen recorder. I mean, everything you need to grab screenshots, small ones, full screen, video, small, full screen, audio while you're doing it. I mean, it really replaces the need for any kind of extension or application for screen recording on your Chromebook. And for Chrome OS to be a lightweight operating system and have this robust of a screen capture tool built in uh, is pretty awesome. And so we're excited to see it. We're excited to see it roll out and stable. Again, it'll show up in Chrome OS 88. So if you wanna try it now, head to the beta channel or wait around for Chrome OS Stable to hit 88. But guys, that's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, go down there and hit the subscribe button, and be sure and hit the notification bell as well if you'd like to be alerted the next time we make a video just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.